Hello you guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about the coming out month for the LGBTQ um, community and I'm going to talk to you guys about my experience being gay. So this will be an unfiltered and uncensored version because I'm not going to do any editing today. I'm not I'm probably just going to add like subscribe to the channel. But if you guys are have been following us and uh, have subscribed for the channel for the longest time you guys would probably know by now that we're, Duomel and I, we're both are gay. And today I'm gonna to be talking about myself, you know. It's very important for me to speak up my mind and be honest about it. Um, I think being gay has always been um, something that I, I can't change, something that has empowered me to be a better person for myself and for the people that are surrounded by me. I think uh, it's very, I firmly believe that it's something that you can't get away from it. And uh, if you're either struggling with the fact that, you know, you want to go, uh, you know, come out as a gay person, lesbian, uh, you don't have to feel pressure by whoever is surrounding you. They shouldn't uh, make you feel like you have to, there's something, it's something that you have to do. You, you got to do it in your own terms and in your own time. Um, in my perspective, I believe that I've had always dealt with the fact that even though with my family, uh, that they've always known that I'm gay. It's something that it's been secretive. It's something that has been awkward and uncomfortable to talk to. And uh, I can say for my, uh, some of the experience that I've had, I remember when I was five years old and, you know, I wasn't allowed to play with uh, Barbies. And by the time that I was, you know, choosing, you know, pink colors or yellow colors, it wasn't something that it was really empowering. However, I've always stuck with uh, my own beliefs, and I always, um, I've always done really good to people. I've always been an honest a person, tried to be as honest as possible, and you know, kind to each other. And I think that's that personality has attracted a lot of good people in my life, and. Uh, being gay takes a lot of effort and when i say that it's not something that you know well you know i'm gonna work today something that speaks out you know or, and says out loud that you're gay and no it's something that you have to deal with on a daily basis like uh we always deal with some type of uh you know segregation they i i don't know how to put it in words i i want to say you know Discrimination, it's the correct word. Um, we always deal with it, whether if it's because you're gay and you're Latino, or if it's because you're gay and you're black, or if you're because you're gay and you're in a, or, you know, a very, whatever it is, whatever it is you're always gonna have that, um, those labels, and they, they, they can be very painful. I remember um, they, at my youngest age, my mom would always make jokes uh, you know, of gay people, well, not always, but would always sometimes say, you know, certain jokes that weren't as uh, friendly and uh, it would make me feel uncomfortable. And when I say that, we always deal with that kind of discrimination. We always deal with it. Even in whatever business you, you're doing, some some professional, um, there are some kind of environments in, your, in, in certain fields of jobs that they really can't say it out loud just because they are surrounded by other men who are unfortunately close-minded or, you know, they make fun of you, they make jokes out of you. And it's really uncomfortable whether you're 10 years old, whether you're 15 years old watching me right now or 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm pretty sure that we've all dealt by now some type of discrimination by race, a sexuality, a color, um, accents, so it doesn't matter what it is, but we've always dealt with some type of discrimination, even by your height, whether you're too short, whether you're too tall, you're always dealing with some type of discrimination. And I, I firmly believe that, you know, those are the type of things that stop you from, you know, saying, hey, I'm gay, you know, or even not even saying it out loud, just being yourself, it, it kind of stops you from being, you know, yourself sometimes in certain norms and or in certain spaces or, it's just so uncomfortable and so overwhelming uh, and it can be overpowering you as a person. I I firmly believe being honest with yourself and knowing what you are and being who you are, what, whether you're gay, bisexual, lesbian, whether you're just a heterosexual person, 
it, it can take a lot of effort and I'm gonna say that uh, I remember that I'm gonna speak from I want to say seven to ten years old seven to ten years uh, past from today I remember the first time that one of my sisters approached me and said hey you know you, it, I know that you're gay it's okay if you come out it's okay if you say it and you know it, it took me by surprise and I want to say that thanks to that little step that she um, pushed me forward to uh, it really made me feel more power you know powerful fearless encouraging um, so I went ahead and I told my sister my older sister and she said that she was fine with it um, then I went ahead and talked to my closest sister who I have always been very very close and this is just my personal experience of me coming out being gay and it was a very comfortable topic to talk to her to my third sister because uh, she's you know we I grew up in a very um, close-minded environment uh, we were I was raised Catholic uh, I was raised uh, you know in an era where machos and being you know the man has to do all everything the man has to pretty much be the representation of a strong uh, image and you know, whether you're not even if you're not a strong male personality and if you show some type of weakness as crying or being you know sad or anything else that comes to you attached to your emotions i feel like that would lead you up to being a joke to everybody and i've always dipped inside of my mind i always thought you know hey you know this is not right this is not what it's supposed to feel like so i went ahead and i spoke to my third sister and um I don't know what she went through, but I can tell you from now that you shouldn't care what everybody else is thinking about you. You should care about yourself because at the end of the day, you're living with yourself. And even though a lot of people that you care and love, sometimes they may change. Sometimes they may not. Sometimes they may push you away. Sometimes they just, you know, they are those little bridges that take you to, um, to your next level of, or persona. And what I mean by that is sometimes people are just there for a period of time and whether you're honest to them or not honest to them, sometimes you may not have them anymore. And whether you like it or not, we are all, always going to have somebody who is going to be supportive. We're always going to have somebody who is not supportive, somebody who hates for no reason, somebody who has, you know, likes for you. And unfortunately, in my personal point of my personal point of view, my personal perspective, and um, what I've dealt through right now that I'm 30, I'm heading to the 31 years old next year. I've always dealt with um, that kind of repression with my sisters who felt like, you know, they need to say, you need. Well, you're the only man. We were expecting you to be a strong man. You know, we were expecting you to be the man in the family. You know. Oh, we're expecting you to have children and all this and after my sister told me to come out um a couple of weeks later she told me i don't know she was at that at that time she was pregnant i don't know what happened i don't know what flipped inside of her i don't know what twisted the, that little fire inside of her that she started telling me that i was gonna go to hell that i was gonna you know i was never gonna go to heaven and she told my mom and i wasn't even ready to tell my mom and it was very confusing. It was a very, very sad moment because I felt betrayed by somebody who I trusted and somebody who had, you know, pretty much lent me their hand to be like, hey, I'm here for you. But they turned their backs on me and that wasn't the first time. And if this is something that that's happening to you or something that has happened to you, I'm pretty sure that you feel uncomfortable and betrayed and you probably are not going to be turned back to them and for help or support or anything else. But you probably need to something like me my, my 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 experience was that um i denied to my mom you know every single question she went every time she would ask me hey are you gay are you homosexual she would be like it's against what god believes and it's against it's against what everybody in our family believes and it's you know you're gonna go to hell and i don't want to you know burn in hell because of you know, being gay and those are very strong words. And when it comes from my mom or when it comes from somebody who you truly uh, 
love, it, it can be very painful. And that was my experience when it came to that. Uh, it wasn't until like three years, uh, I want to say three to five years later, um, being gay in a gay um, environment, in the gay community, uh, in a gay lifestyle, it can be also be really hard to find a partner. It can also be very hard to find a, a boyfriend, a girlfriend. A, I don't know what your experience is, uh, but my experience is that I've been dating. I was, I have been dating since I was 15 years old. So I can already tell you that uh, it, it can be very exhausting. Uh, definitely, I was dating gay men by the time I was 15. I gave my first kiss to somebody who was around like 26 years old. And then I started dating. And when I mean dating, I, I don't mean anything sexual. My first sexual encounter, I was 18 years old. And, uh, you know, it, I didn't have a serious relationship until I was like 23 um, or 22. And unfortunately, in the gay community, I'm pretty sure that everywhere else, uh, like, I don't know if it, it ha also happens in the lesbian community or in the heterosexual community, there can be a lot of, um, um, how would you say that? Uh, let's say polygamy, there can be a lot of, you know, um, how do you say that? Emma? When there's a lot of gay people just having sex, random sex, uh, the ones right here, like, you know, Overview and everything helping me to find my cue and being in peace. So uh, basically, I want to say, you know, when you're in the gay community, and if you have been in the gay community, you probably have been dating a, a while, and you probably either have a boyfriend or you probably don't have one. My, in my personal point of view, it can be very exhausting. And I, I had spent, I want to say, ten years until I found someone who was very serious about their our relationship. And it wasn't until he wanted to, he showed me he needed to settle down that he helped me understand myself also. You know, it's okay if you, if you don't, if you don't feel okay with yourself, it's okay if you feel like you're incomplete. If it's okay if you're complete already or you feel satisfied with yourself and you just want to meet the other half, it's okay. You can, don't let anyone judge you and make you feel uncomfortable just because, you know, they're on beliefs in my my experience was different. Uh, it took me a long, long time to find somebody who I, who showed me uh, how to trust them, who showed me um, how happy I could be in a relationship. I was so damaged and I was so, um, my mind was so twisted that I felt like in the beginning of, of my relate, current relationship that I had been for the last almost seven years, I felt like he was just a player, just like everyone else. It was, um, I was just ready to, you know, probably just, you know, hang out a week or two weeks, talk and then look forward or, you know, it was just not into me. And in the gay community, in my personal point of view, I feel like it can be very um, exhausting because sex can be something that can be given as easy as giving you a free lunch or as easy as getting a Starbucks. Uh, it's something that you can easily get anywhere just by either, uh, you know, apps or finding looks or whether, you know, it can be very easy. Just like heterosexuals can have uh, sex pretty easy from someone else, gay community can be as faster as five times more, you know, five times faster than a heterosexual couple. So definitely it can be very hard and the main message in this video is don't feel pressure. Don't feel like you have to do something for somebody. You don't need to do anything for anyone. You don't need to give reasons to anyone about anything in life. You have to give your reasons to yourself. Uh, one of my favorite movies says, um, and it's called My Blueberry Nights. And it says, you know, you only have one life. What are you gonna do with it? And I've always, you know, Follow that, because at the end of the day, you only only have one life. Um, lately, with all this coronavirus pandemic and everything that's going around the world, I firmly believe that we have to be honest with each other and we have to be kind to each other. And if you see something that you don't feel comfortable with it, you don't have to stick with it. You know, 
If someone tells you that being gay, it's something that it's not supposed to, just walk away. Don't waste your energy. There may be people who want to waste their energy in fighting against that. Just pointless at this at this time of our lives. It's pointless. It's pointless if you want to you know prove to someone why you have to come out, out out of the closet. If someone makes fun of you because you're gay, if someone makes fun of you because you're looking feminine, if someone makes fun of you because you're wearing cl female clothing or because you're too masculine or because you are X type of thing. That is their problem, not yours. And at the end of the day, you have to live for your, live up for yourself, you know, live for your own standards. And I think it was, I think it's something that I've been wanting to talk to in this channel, just because when I switched in the beginning of my YouTube, of our YouTube channel, in the beginning, I was doing more videos of Spanish. Um, the main reason why I stopped doing Spanish videos is not only it's not only because I didn't have that um, that much of people following, but because I also received a lot of comments that were hateful, like people who were like, "Well, why are you wearing makeup? Or why are you using face creams? Or why are you doing this?" And on top of that, it's a lot of effort to do like editing and. You know, doing one video in Spanish, one video in English, and it, 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 it increased so much that it was like, you know, I'm just going to give up. I think it's going to be more successful if I do it in English. And on top of that, I know my followers can always edit, you know, type in the subtitles and they can always end up coming back. So um, I just gave up. I just gave up because I feel like there's so much homophobia. There's so much hate in the world. Um, this year, we've have dealt with so much deaths of uh, trans people, whether they are in Mexico or Puerto Rico or in the States, I feel like people are just intolerant of what they cannot understand. And they are very ignorant. They don't want to understand it. They don't want to be accepting. You don't have to understand me 100% of the reasons why I like to choose the way that I live my life. Even if I'm respectful to your to yourself or to your family or to your beliefs, you just want to burn me. You just want to say something mean. You just want to be rude or nasty. And I think I have uh, explained to you guys in the past videos when we used to live in Indiana or Florida or anywhere else that, you know, we've dealt with so much BS, with so much racism, with so much hate in general that I felt so discouraged in life that I was like you know it's pointless for me to continue but no it's actually not it's actually just a time for you to take a break and you know go again and go stronger and come back as much you know with every all your energy and all your positivism of course it's nothing in life is easy if it was easy everyone could do it but definitely being gay it's not something that it's easy and it's so hard for people to understand you know, sometimes people ask weird questions like, why are you gay? Why are you not straight? Or why are you, have you ever liked women or stuff like that? And it's so uncomfortable because you just like things. Like, I know for a fact, I just don't like fish. I don't like shellfish. I don't like, you know, certain type of uh, ice cream. I don't like certain type of food. I, I don't like, uh, you know, I love makeup. I like to wear makeup, but maybe I just don't like to wear makeup on myself. Or, you know, maybe... You know, you just have your own likings, you just have your own taste, and you don't have to explain that to everybody, just because they are your friends, your sisters, your brothers, whatever they are. And it's sometimes people be like, no, it's fine, you know? Sometimes people even make up excuses as far as, you know, I'm the way that I am because, you know, it was my father's or my mother's fault, or, you know, I have a sister who's always, you know, the way that I am, it's because of my mom, or the way that I am is because of my parents. No, it isn't. You're a 50-year-old grown woman. You're a 30-year-old grown woman. You can't be giving up excuses to be mean or rude or nasty and call people up names just because that's the way that you are. And honestly, it is not your fight to be teaching or helping someone to grow just because they don't want to. You're just gonna waste your time. Come out gay to whoever you want to, whoever you place to, whoever you feel comfortable with. 
And sometimes you don't even need to say it because at the end of the day, the people who truly believe you, who truly trust you, who truly get you, they are gonna be there for you. They don't need excuses, they don't need explanations. You know, I, again, it took me 10 years to find a, a very, very loving person to be by my side. And I, I showed you guys, I probably just linked down below. About two years ago, we went to New York and I explained to you guys the reason why I, I love him. I just truly really do. You know, no relationships are easy. Whether you're gay, heterosexual, lesbian, no relationships are easy, but definitely they do make you happy. And I want to say that the person who is sleeping by myself makes me happy. Who The person who is sleeping by my side makes me feel comfortable and I find them honest and they, find, they help me build my persona better and better. They make me grow as a deep inside of me and they make me grow outside of my you know my my mind and it, it can be definitely fulfilling to find somebody like that but it definitely takes a lot of time to find someone who is truly going to be there sometimes people change and sometimes people come and go and that's the way life goes and unfortunately um you have to be who you are. You have to be honest with yourself. Um, you don't have to be honest with everyone else who's coming into your life and trying to, hey, are you gay? Are you, you know? It's like asking a woman, why are you not pregnant? That's none of anybody's business. What if the woman doesn't want kids? What if the woman can't have kids? What if, you know, she's had issues? Maybe she was, you know, raped. Only she knows. So at the end of this video, the message that I wanna, wanna send to you guys is to be positive, to be mindful of each other, to be kind to each other. This is what the whole channel, channel is all about, being uh, truthfully kind to each other, friends, friendly, you know, be a nice human being. Lately, we've been dealing with so much chaos in life and society and coronavirus and everyone else that we forget to be kind to each other. We forget that, you know, sometimes we can get, you know, too much self-conscious and self-centered. And I just want to say, you know, this is this has been something that it's, it is in your life that, you know, you're like, hey, I'm gay and I've dealt with, you know, discrimination or, you know sexual assault or I've dealt with the relationships that are more harmful than helpful, then just ask for help. Ask for help and be honest to yourself and kind. Learn that you're only gonna be happy when you find your true message. When you find that you're, you don't have to tell anyone whether you're gay or not when you find out that you're just happy with yourself and, and you don't need to tell anyone else if you if you need to do whatever you want to, if that makes any sense. Well, with all that's been said, you guys, I just hope that this message goes out clear. And, you know, if you guys have any questions, if I was just rambling, if you guys feel like, you know, maybe you always want to hear more about me, or maybe you guys want to hear more about my relationship. Maybe you guys want to know how we deal with our relationship. Um, by no means, I'm going to, you know, trash talk my relationship or, you know, anything else like that. But I'm definitely, you guys can tell how we get along. And like I said, no relationship is perfect, but we def I'm definitely a very happy person. So I always tell the male of this, you know, you know, if I die tomorrow, just know that like, I'm happy with you. I'm very happy and you make me a better person and you make me feel 100% comfortable with myself. And that is something that I also have learned within myself, that I don't need to be in contact with people who are just family or friends that are just like taking my energy away. So learn that, you know, read books that help you. If you guys want some books to learn, if you guys have books to recommend, for self-esteem let me know in the comments down below and make sure you guys are always proud of who you are and don't let anyone don't let anyone 
steal the light of your soul, of your spirit, of your soul. Thank you guys, subscribe to the channel and click on the subscri subscription and notification button to stay notified for future videos.